James out here at Poor Farm. I'm going to show you a typical day of feeding hay to the cows. Now, hang on. Well, first things first. Got to go back here and open up the little, the back here. A little bleeder valve here it doesn't hold a prime in the fuel system white star was supposed to fix this last time i had it there but they didn't so i prime it to where it comes out the bleeder here once it does that I shut that and it should fire up so i can find the key here
might be a better solution for uh, to get them out of the mud, but uh, I just want to have a solution right now. I suppose it'll eventually quit raining, just like always. But, uh, I can kind of open the gate and just kind of throw it in the trough. Makes it easier for me, but not for them. Gator here, as I've said in a, another video, my uh, mom and dad, my mom bought a raffle ticket at a uh, at the big Brutus over in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and uh, won this Gator in a, for a raffle uh, off a raffle ticket she bought for a fundraiser. It, uh, uh, I think it was probably valued at I think it's a 2005. I'd have to find the paperwork, but. Uh, 2005 this thing was like $5,500 and I could probably sell it for the same amount if I fixed everything that's currently wrong with it. I did put new shocks on it a while back on the front because it was bottoming out. I need to get a belt, a new spark plug, a new clutch and possibly make a new bed that's not rusted out. Mom and Dad all the salt sold in the back of it so much to the pasture that it uh, rusted out the front of the bed so it's barely hanging on but, uh, but it uh, keeps it running it's a it's a survivor
James here. If you're watching the poor farm, if you like these videos, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.